Hey guys, it's Kelsey and I am here to talk to you guys about um, what I do as a nurse because I've gotten some questions about what kind of nurse I am. Um, but first, I want to share with you guys something really awesome that I have been a part of and um, trying really hard to support and share and spread and help you guys understand the importance of it. Um, I am wearing a very unique one and only show me your stethoscope t-shirt. It is super awesome, super cool, and for those of you, a lot of you know me through the group Show Me Your Stethoscope, um, and some of you guys have just um, found my blog through word of mouth or just online posted, whatnot. Um, but anyway, Show Me Your Stethoscope is basically a group that was created when the whole view, the show The View, um, Joy Bayer, she mentioned something about nurses wearing a doctor's stethoscope and made fun of Kelly um, Johnson, who was the Miss Colorado um, on the Miss America. And basically she did a monologue representing nurses and that was her talent. And we all know that nursing is a talent, but they basically bashed it and dissed it and said some really hurtful negative things about nursing. And the whole world of nursing uproared and this amazing group called Show Me Your Stethoscope got created by an awesome nurse named Janie, um, who is actually the leader and founder of this awesome group. Um, so anyway, I am trying hard to support and um, cheer on Show Me Your Stethoscope because right now they are working on creating and vouching for and fighting for legislation for safe staffing ratios with nurses because that is a huge issue in our profession. Um, you know, it's kind of just one of these things where you're given a load of patients and you're expected to take care of them regardless of the load, acuity, etc. Um, our hospitals try really hard to make it safe and easy for nurses, but the reality is, is we are short-staffed all the time and we're given a workload that really we should not be taking care of because it's not safe. So not only is safe staffing an issue for nurses, but it's an issue for patients as well. It's a huge issue. It's a safety issue and we need to get that message out. And this is why you need to join Show Me or Set the Scope and this is why you need to buy a t-shirt to support the cause. And this is why you need to listen to what I have to say about it. Um, if you're from Georgia, go join the Georgia chapter. You can look it up on Facebook. It's Show Me Your Stethoscope, S-M-Y-S for change Georgia chapter. Um, Anyway, so what I'm here to talk to you guys about is my position as a float nurse. Um, I was a registered nurse. I was a registered cardiac nurse for two years. Um, I worked an open heart step down and I worked in a post interventional and electrophysiology unit for two years. And then I joined the float team at my current hospital and I love it. Um, so the life of a float nurse is very crazy. Um, you're kind of pulled in all directions and you're given a lot of different assignments. Sometimes you're given the, the poop assignments literally and figuratively. Um, you know, sometimes you get the heavier patients and the difficult families and the contact isolation rooms and the list goes on. Um, but the awesome part about float nursing is that you're always on your toes. You're always getting new things. You're always learning new things. And I feel like my knowledge has just grown so much in the past year of being on this team, um, and working alongside some really strong, amazing nurses. So, um, the way my day starts out is I call in at six o'clock every morning. I call into the house coordinator and I say, Hey, it's Kelsey. You know, where am I at today? And they'll say, Oh, you're on GI or, Oh, you're on cardiac or you're on women's surgical, whatever it is. Um, and so I say, okay. And I take my assignment and I go. So I come to the floor. Um, I always come with a smile and everyone's always typically excited to have me, um, on the floor because I try to be really upbeat and I try to be really positive no matter where I go. Um, just because nobody wants somebody to to come up to the floor and be like, oh, you know, I'm here today, let's do this, you know. No, you guys, we're all doing the same thing. We all have to have a good attitude about it. And it just is going to make for a better day. You know, there's not really um, a question about it. A positive attitude is a choice and you need to make that choice to have one. Um, so I take my assignment, I get my patients, I chart on them. Um, my morning kind of consists of sitting down. I look at my labs. I look at my patient's vital signs. I kind of look to see what the trends have been as far as their pain, what they've been getting for pain. Um, and I just get ready for my day. That's kind of what I do. Um, float nursing is really awesome. If you're thinking about it or you've wondered about it, um, a lot of people think, oh, well, it's not safe to be a float nurse. Like, I can't do that. Like, it's not even a safe thing to not have a, you know, a discipline that you're really good at or whatever. 
no, that's, that's silly. Um, I think that if you have been a nurse for at least two years, I think float nursing could be an option for you. I would recommend getting your, your base knowledge and staying on a floor and getting used to a lot of things, learning how to hang bug, learning how to start IVs, um, you know, kind of understanding the flow and, and in, you know, situations where things go bad, you learn from those experiences as well. Um, you know, get your, get your feet on the ground, get some foundation to where you feel confident no matter what you do, because the body's the body, no matter what unit you're on, you're going to learn different things about each unit and the way things work with different organs in the body. But like I said, a code is run the same everywhere. You know, a code is a code. Um, but anyway, so I love what I do. I do it every day. I don't have any plans of changing. Um, you get to meet a lot of awesome people. You get to deal with a lot of different situations. You learn a lot about disease processes that you would never have learned about if you just stayed on a cardiac unit or you stayed on a GI unit. Um, but I do enjoy still going back to my roots. I get floated to the cardiac floor a lot where I'm at and I love it. And the people there are really awesome. And I enjoy going to that floor because everybody does have a good attitude. And it's nice to come to a floor that's known for having you know, kind of a positive environment. So I try to bring that no matter where I go. So anyways, um, float nursing is amazing. If you guys have any questions about it or you're going into it or you're questioning it, feel free to shoot it my way. Um, again, thank you guys so much for all your support and reading my blog and subscribing and following my Instagram and just listening to all my shenanigans because I enjoy sharing it with you guys. And my, um, my goal in all of this is just to share my heart and to share love and to help you guys in whatever it is that you need. Um, and just to share, you know, positivity in a world that can be very crappy. Um, your heart is mine. Love you guys. I will talk to you soon.